Welcome to Fast Five, where our panelists weigh in on five separate topics. Let's get started. Well, Ken, if you got an extra 4.8 billion laying around, you could have bought Yahoo, except Verizon beat you to the punch. What do you think of that one? You know, I wish Verizon would have put that uh, 4.8 billion towards upgrading my internet speed instead. <laughs> you know, I only get three megs a second where I live, and it's absolutely yeah. hard. Yeah. And here it is, more consolidation of the communications industry, which I always find a bit ominous at this point. Wouldn't you think Teddy Roosevelt, if he were still around? If he were still around, the this would buster, never happen. It would be, it'd be never chaos happen. for him. But it, it keeps on happening, and you know, when the control is in the hands of so few, you've always got a problem there. Because who opinion. is really running the operations of these businesses and companies? Yeah. Who, who is getting the information that's provided by the yes. phone company and the internet? If I got a bigger question. Who uses Yahoo? Uh, that's a good question. Firefox users. Because now when you yes, download I do. Firefox, yeah. Yahoo is the default search engine. Yes, it is. Okay, well it is, but if you're like me, you, you like Firefox, oh, yeah, you don't like you Yahoo, and then you just change the default search engine <laughs> to, in my case, Bing, because I'm a Microsoft guy. So, Okay, second topic. Uh, the utility rates in Boonesboro are changing. Yes. No longer a fixed fee, fixed rate. Um, new tiered rate. What do you think of that one? Well, I, I think it's probably long overdue. I mean, just a, it's a matter of fairness here. You know, I mean, you got somebody out watering their lawn all day, and grandma down the street lives alone on Social Security is paying the same right. for your, her gallon of water a day. Well, there's something not right about that, I think. And it, it's just kind of making it more equitable with the water and sewer things. And also what they're trying to do, which I think is good, and there's there's a reason why Boonesboro has been named in, you know, an environmentally special city in, in Maryland, because they're just simply trying to have people think twice before they use water so that they'll conserve more of it and it'll be less money going through the sewage plant. I think some other I think some other towns in the which county should money. also look at that as well. Yeah. I mean, Charlesburg has some very outrageously high water rates. Yes. And it, they're not based on conservation. You pay a fixed rate. I could use 2,000 gallons in a quarter and still pay if I pay the amount of if I use 6,000 gallons. Right. So why not make that tiered system where you, you yeah. pay if you use less? Yeah. To incent. To incentivize. Incentivize. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's, it's a good yeah. and, you know, basic I, I, I live in Boonesboro and, yeah, you know, I have no problems. My former hometown. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, I have no problems whatsoever with the new tiered structure because it's uh, I'm paying, you know, for what I use, opposed to, you know, hey, I'm paying for stuff I didn't even use. So, so Neil Parrott didn't come in and try to. Who knows where he's at? <laughs> so like he did with the waste. The Rio Next Olympics. <laughs> it's not just about Zika anymore. It's about that the Olympic Village is not ready. They've got athletes showing up, and there's nowhere to go. Well, they have a government in chaos down there. Their president was impeached. Yeah thrown out of office. Yeah, they got bigger problems and than the Rio games. <laughs> I don't think when they were selected, what was it, six years ago, that they anticipated this type of difficulty, but yeah. they're in some bad conditions down yeah. there. Uh, and tons of controversy, social-wise and everything, because of the expense. And it's a the, mess, but apparently they say they're going to have everything fixed. Apparently the Australian delegation was not impressed with their accommodations yes. and said they're going to be staying somewhere else. Yes. Well, with, with, with them being in chaos like it is, I'd be worried about the security. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, well, yeah, that's I'd be part really of worried yeah. about yeah. there possibly being a terrorist attack because you know they're going to target it. Yeah, it's what their security situation is, I don't think anyone's really thought too much about that. Yeah, yeah I'd be more worried about that than the housing, you know, whether it's the best bed in the dorms for yeah, them, right, you right. know, right. frankly. Well, the Russians, are they even going to compete? I mean, what, what's the deal with them and the, and the oh, doping? The doping scandal. They're still trying to figure that one out. Yeah, uh, okay. that's, so the that's, Russians that's may, not to stay, may not need to stay anywhere. Right. So, okay. You, you get a free room there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Russia, uh, a Russian adventurer, whose name I'm not going to try to produce, set a new record on around, on the, you've heard of around the world in 80 days, yes. and I thought that would be quite a feat, around the world in 80 days. Yeah, did you see the time on this? This dude did it in 11 days. It's amazing. To me, I wouldn't have thought that. I guess I, if you catch the high altitude yep. jet stream, you get yep. up to, I guess. How fast and guess, yeah. guess how old this guy is. 64. Wow. That's I say pretty, go for it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I, I guess he it. figured he didn't have much to lose, so. I don't well, come know. on, be careful now. <laughs> I'm older than that guy. He went close to Antarctica. <laughs> he went down way past where he was thought he was actually supposed to be headed. He got yeah. corrected in time. Yeah. He could have ended up in the Arctic. How do you Antarctic. correct in a, I thought the whole basis of a balloon is you really can't control much of where you're going. I guess there'd have to be some way to, in case you got into some difficulty to adjust your 
Well, I but know. yeah, I don't know how they. I don't really know that much about that kind of you a might balloon. Be at, you might be at the mercy yeah. of the elements. Who knows? Yeah. Well, he was really afraid, apparently, yeah. when it was hidden. Now, but there's nothing there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah, a bad thing. Tough. Okay. Last topic. Um, most U.S. beers to get calorie and ingredient labels. I didn't realize they didn't have. I them. thought they had calories on too. Well, what is up with that? Yeah, I mean, it's, that, it's, it's, you can is, see it from yeah. the first couple beers yeah. that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it going to change your drinking habits, Tom? No. And I yeah. think this is actually volunteer. Are you a beer guy, Tom? Beer and wine. I don't go for the hard stuff. Okay. I like craft. I love wonderful beers, though. Do I really you? Okay. Do. Yeah. But uh, you I think you label? know what you're drinking. Well, I, I'll check it out. I certainly will check okay. it out. I, I think it's just good so people are conscious whether they look or not. People don't look at like they buy a Twinkie. Yeah. They want if they want a Twinkie or you know one of the Does pies it, or whatever. Yeah, this is they're not looking at the whiskey. label, but <laughs> whiskey. Uh, whiskey. It, it doesn't <laughs> say. It okay, says I'm, I'm not concerned. If it's in <laughs> U.S. beers yeah. to get calorie and yeah. ingredient. But labels. apparently, this is volunteer, so the industry itself. Okay. And the craft brewers are all on board, so it's about eighty percent of the. Industry. Now we can find out how many calories Miller Lite actually has. Yes. <laughs> Which is good to know for those who drink it. All right. That's all I've got to say on that one. Stay tuned. Last call is next. We'll be back in three minutes.